Currently, Ohio is debating about an anti-abortion uh, bill uh, known as House Bill 69. For those of you who are unaware of what the bill includes, it's basically what could be a law that would make it a fifth-degree felony for abortions performed after a fetal heartbeat is detectable. The bill currently makes exceptions for the mother's life, but not for pregnancies resulting from incest or rape. Now, there is a lawmaker in Ohio that is against this legislation, even though she's deeply religious. Her name is uh, Teresa Fetter, and she talked about her personal experiences getting an abortion. She was raped while she was serving in the military. She got pregnant as a result of that rape, and she got an abortion shortly after. So she was sharing this story in order to make a point against the legislation. And then while she was doing so, something interesting happened. Take a look at the video. This debate is political purely political, and I understand your story, but you don't understand mine. And I'm grateful for that freedom. It is a personal decision, and how dare government get into my business. I'm more Republican, Libertarian than you are, I guarantee you. Look at all of my record. And I got Republicans on, on your side who would say, yes, that's true. I don't want government in my business. I want my freedom. I fought in the military for that freedom. And for all those women in the military who were raped, and I see people laughing. I don't appreciate that on the other side. And it happens to be a man who's laughing. I don't know if it's about what I'm saying, but this is serious business right now. Jeez. <sighs> okay. Now, look. Maybe they were laughing about something else. Maybe they were laughing about the fact that she said she's more Republican than them. Obviously, what she's intending to say is she's for a smaller government, one that doesn't interfere with her personal choices. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't really matter. She's telling a story of how she got raped while she was serving in the military and had to get an abortion. Have the just a shred of human decency not to joke around about it and laugh about it in the middle of the speech. I mean, just again, when you thought they couldn't get any worse, they the Republicans find a way. Mm -hmm. So like, <laughs> she got right. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Even if it was some about something else, even if you just saw the funniest joke ever on your smartphone, don't laugh in the middle of that speech. And I thought these guys were like politicians, that they were supposed to have some political sense of like decorum and like, hey, whoa, that'll look bad. Mm -hmm. But I think that among Republicans, nothing looks bad anymore. Like, oh, you laughed at a woman who got raped? Good for you. Way to be a Rep yes. You're more likely to win in a Republican primary, not less likely, right? Rick Perry said, "I never lose any sleep over all the people I executed." And we did a story that one of them was very likely to have been innocent. Standing ovation. Yes. Way to kill him. Yes. Right? Like, oh, you got raped in the military. <laughs> Oh, good job, Bob. Way to laugh at her. Way to be. Yeah. Come on, man. I mean, what a compelling story about, hey, maybe you shouldn't judge my life. Yeah. Maybe you don't know my life. Maybe you shouldn't get between me and my doctor because maybe something horrific happened to me and you don't know about it and you don't understand it. And they think it's a punchline. So the House approved the bill 55 to 40. However, the Senate is unwilling to take it up, so it's unlikely to ever become law in Ohio. But the point that I want to make is, all right, so based on what happened recently in Indiana, in Indiana, religious people now have the protection necessary to discriminate against people as long as they state their, uh, their religion while doing so, right? That's their freedom of religion. But again, there's no respect for freedom from religion. We're supposed to live in a country that doesn't endorse one religion or another, right? Mm -hmm. So if I don't have a religious belief, why should I be bound by what your morals are? So if you consider a zygote to be a viable human life, which it isn't, then how about you do what you want to do and keep the baby no matter what, regardless of if it's rape or incest or if it's consensual, whatever, right? But if I don't have the same religious beliefs as you, why should I be bound by your religious beliefs? It doesn't make any sense. What happened to freedom from religion? So if Muslims did it, people would their heads would explode and they would scream Sharia law. If Muslims said, I don't believe in eating bacon, so I'm going to outlaw bacon in Ohio. They'd be like, oh my, what are you doing? Oh, unacceptable, right? Now, but you guys say, I think this zygote is a human being uh, because of my religious beliefs, so now, 
you have to think that Zygo is a human being and I don't care if you got raped, I'm going to make you have that because of my religious beliefs. That the whole point of living in this country is that I'm not guided by your religious beliefs. If I wanted to be guided by somebody's religious beliefs, I'd live in Saudi Arabia or I'd live in Iran or maybe I'd live or in, in Afghanistan or Indiana. <laughs> right, or the Vatican, right? But we're but now in Ohio we're having a conversation about, oh okay, Christians believe this, so they're going to they're going to put you in jail. They're going to put you it's according to this law. It's a felony. They're going to put you in jail if you got raped and you decide to get an abortion because somebody thought that the fetus had a heartbeat. That's not the legal definition or any definition of when something is viable outside the womb. We are almost all agree that if it's viable outside the womb then it is an independent life and that that independent life has protections. But up until that point, oh, I, you know what, it looked like it had a finger, oh, it had a heartbeat, it had this, it had that. But my God, my sky God, who didn't say a goddamn thing about it actually in the Bible. In fact, in several portions of the Bible, God encourages abortions. They say, if you think your wife cheated on you, give her poison. And if she miscarries, uh, miscarries, then the bitch cheated on you, and 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 it's a good thing that she miscarried and had an abortion. Uh, God is in favor of that. Look it up, read the Bible, right? But I don't care about your Bible. I, I'm I'm not Christian. I don't have to live by your Bible. That's why I live in America. I chose to come to America, came come to America, and become an American citizen because I didn't want to be guided by a religion. That's the whole point of the country, and they missed it. And then laugh in this woman's face. Is beyond the pale, man. It's it's they, they have no decency left whatsoever. And and by the way, she does does that, that amazing speech, and they're like, yep, yep, not at all convinced. Don't care at all. We're gonna vote in favor of it anyway. Fifty-five to forty wasn't even close. How could you? I mean, one story after another about how regressive and backward thinking one party is in this country, right? The Democrats are corrupted by Wall Street. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. But to be against women's health. To be discriminatory against gay people, minorities, to to cheerlead it, to pass legislation that would take us back decades. So I didn't, I didn't, I don't understand how people can be okay with that. Like, well, I'm I'm a Republican because I'm for less. Yeah, but you're also for all this other shit then. Yep. So I don't I don't really know what the point I'm trying to make is. Well, there's there's two different kinds of uh, Republicans. Uh, one is the guy who's greedy and thinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'm, you're gonna take women's rights. I'm not a woman. I just want five percent less taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want if I get you know if I just a little bit more money, do whatever. Gays, I'm not gay. I don't care. Hey, hey Hitler's gonna cut my taxes. I'm not Jewish. Who gives a fuck? I'm right. voting for the guy with the mustache. You know, they came for the trade unionists, but I'm not a trade. Not unionist. a trade unionist, <laughs> right? That's exactly <laughs> right. I, I got lower taxes and the trains run on time. I, I'm good to go.